Hey students, it's getting to that paper turn in part of the term. So to do that, I just want to give you a quick rundown. On, from that home page, you can always click Jump to Today to find the um, assignments coming up next and the ones most recently submitted. Uh, but that paper is right here, the assignment page for that. You can also find it with a little more information under Modules. Um, so just scroll down to that module uh, for the social life study. There's a link to paper instructions and example papers. Um, there's also a zip file just in case that link doesn't work. You can just download it directly. A place to upload some ideas about your paper before you would actually turn it in. Maybe get a little feedback, collaborate with some students, maybe find a partner. And then of course the assignment is right here. But under the instruction resources, You've got um, the example papers of various kinds here, and then the paper instructions themselves. Of course, all you're doing is just finding a person, either a fictional character or a real person, with enough information available to identify kind of what makes them who they are, how the people and institutions and social experiences um, made them who they are, how they react to different situations based on those values and experience and beliefs, um, and how they affect the people around them and there's some specific questions to get you started here. You should be answering four of these big chunks of questions, but of course you can mix it up a little bit, leave out anything that doesn't make sense given your person you're doing it on, um, and some more information. So you should read this over carefully yourself. But back to the paper turn in itself, you're just gonna click on that assignments page. That'll bring you right here. Now on this assignment page, all you need to do is actually submit your paper. You'll be typing it up in whatever your favorite word processing program is elsewhere. Of course, include a bibliography. It's supposed to be four to six pages here. Your bibliography should include um, the movie, if you're using a movie or show or book, um, any articles that you read about that movie or show or book, any biographies you read about real people, any other sources of information, including this class itself, probably your textbook. But just go ahead and save that in a common file format. I always just do RTF um, and save it to a place that you'll remember, like the desktop, for instance. I uh, always give things a name with my last name and whatever it is I'm doing. Save that. And then all you have to do here is just click find that paper in that same place um, on the desktop in my case. And there it is, open. You'll see it upload there. It'll even give you a little preview, make sure it formats correctly. You might need to save it in a different file format if it doesn't, uh, and then just hit submit. And so you should see that saying, you have successfully submitted your paper and you're done.